Hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in Ascend Tarot. So I hope everyone is doing well. So today is going to be a general love reading. So this is going to be picking up on the energy of two people. So this may or may not be your story, okay? Um, if the title resonated with you or if something in the thumbnail resonated with you, then this could possibly be your reading. But don't try to make it fit if it's not yours, okay? Um, before I begin, just a few quick, quick, quick announcements. Um, today is the last day that I'm offering the New Year's promo, okay? So the information is down below to get 15% off. After midnight, uh, that's going to be off, so there's no 15% um, off after that. So if you are interested in that, um, now is the time to jump on it. Um, second quick little message is I have 30 Twin Flame Oracle decks available, okay? So when they're shipped to you, they look something like this. Um, but these are what I use in most of my readings, okay? If you guys were interested in purchasing these decks, if you live in Canada or the USA, um, there is free shipping and I only ship actually to Canada and the, and the USA so sorry for anyone who's outside of that realm but um, that's all I'm offering at this point in time so if you guys are interested I'm gonna leave the information in the description box below okay but without further ado um, let's jump into today's reading so let's see what's going on with you and your person I feel like it's been a while since I've done a collective reading Okay, so let's take a look at your past energy. Okay, what's your past energy? Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. So your past energy, we have the King of Swords reverse and the Judgment reverse. So I'm getting something to do with um, insecurities, okay? So there's something with um, this feeling of being insecure, so you might have detached from your person, okay? The King of Swords. Now, roles can be reversed, so keep that in mind. If this doesn't resonate for you, this could be your person's energy, okay? But I'm picking up this as being your energy for the majority of you guys. Um, so it looks like your past energy is, yeah, you were, you were maybe dealing with some sort of insecurities, and because of your insecurities, you could have uh, become very detached from your person, so maybe you're acting kind of cold or detached or uninterested. Um, or we're kind of giving this person the cold shoulder, but I feel like it was mainly just because of, um, yeah, insecurities, judgment reversed, some sort of like critical self-judgment, okay? Let's see. So your person's past energy. Your person's past energy. Okay, so they were very interested. Knight of Wands, um, they were breaking free from some sort of mental fear though. So the Knight of Wands, they were very attracted to you, okay? This person was very interested in dating you or um, at least having something passionate here with you with the Knight of Wands. How serious they were, it's hard to say. The Knight of Wands isn't necessarily the most serious um, character, but we don't have all the story yet. So this is just telling me that your person was definitely very interested in you. And I feel like with the Eight of Swords reverse, they were breaking free from some sort of mental fear, okay? Um, there could have been something that they had recently broken themselves out of. For some of you guys, it could have been um, a past relationship or even a marriage. So let's see here. I'm just gonna go ahead and clarify both sides and see what we get. Let's get some more detail. So why do we have judgment in the King of Swords here, Spirit, reversed for our viewer? Yeah, look at this, guys. Again, King of Swords reversed. So I feel like, and it could be roles reversed, but I'm seeing here King of Swords reversed. This, you guys were acting very detached. Um, and I feel like it's because of insecurity. That's what I'm getting. You know, King of Swords is someone who's, you know, kind of acting aloof or just kind of acting like they're not interested, kind of putting up a guard. Like, you were not showing your person your emotions, but you, I feel like you had emotions here, though. Um, but this was due to insecurity, so we have the King of Swords reversed twice. Let's see about your person. Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Why is this here? Page of Cups reversed and the Six of Cups reversed. Okay, so I'm getting here. Your person was a bit hesitant um, because of their past, okay? So I do feel like your person had emotion for you, for sure. They were very attracted to you. The Page of Cups reversed, though, and the Six of Cups reversed. Your past, your person's past was affecting their ability to offer you something emotionally. So this could be why you detached from your person. 
okay? They were very attracted to you or very passionate about you, um, but I'm seeing here with the Page of Cups reverse, they might not have been offering you too much emotionally. They could have been holding back their emotions, which very, they, even the Page of Cups to begin with doesn't have a lot of emotion to offer, but even that bit of emotion, they weren't really offering that to you. They're holding back because of their past. So this could be, again, if they broke out of a, a relationship or a marriage and they were still hurt from that, I'm getting here, they were holding back their emotions to be safe. So you could have got the wrong impression and so you detached. Let's see what the challenge was here. What was the challenge in the past here, Spirit? What's the past challenge? The Hermit. Yeah, I just feel like you guys were both kind of hiding. Hiding your emotions or retreating from each other. Let's see. What do we have with the Hermit? The Page of Pentacles, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the Page of Pentacles is about an offer. So I feel like the challenge was... You know, no one was really making that that offer here. So you guys, you could have been dealing with someone where both of you guys were kind of hiding your feelings for each other. Neither of you were being very honest about what you wanted, what you desired here. Um, you could have been kind of hiding. I'm kind of getting a hiding energy. Like, I don't know if you guys were even in communication. So you could be dealing with someone where maybe you didn't even really talk that much to this person. They wanted, they were attracted to you. You acted like you were detached for whatever reason, whether, yeah, I feel like a lot of it has to do with your own insecurities. Sorry guys to say that, but it does seem that that's what I'm getting here. Um, like there's some sort of self-judgment or insecurity here and it could be about the past, but your person was also holding back. So I feel like the challenge was someone had to make an offer. <clears throat> so let's see what your current energy is. What's your current energy towards your person? Interesting. Wow, yeah, look at this. You seem like the, okay, this is so interesting. Normally it's not the viewer that is so indecisive and detached, but that's what I'm getting. So we have the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups reverse, and the Temperance card reverse. So um, your current energy is you're kind of indecisive right now. You're not really sure what you want. You do feel like you missed out on an opportunity with this person. Um, and I do feel with the Temperance card reverse, you're not overly balanced, okay, with like the Temperance card. Like, I don't feel that you feel that this situation is very balanced at this time. Um, you do feel like there was a missed opportunity here though, but you're kind of indecisive about what you want with this person, Two of Swords. You could also have someone else, Two of Swords. Um, you could have to make a decision between this person and someone else, but um, it's gonna it's gonna vary for you guys, okay? Let's see your person's energy towards you. Oh my gosh, the Hierophant. Okay, let's see what else we have here. The Four of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like you might be in some form of um, a separation with this person with the Four of Swords. Or there's like a period of um, rest. But your person wants commitment with you, okay, the Hierophant. This is a card of commitment, marriage even. Uh, this is your person's energy towards you. So let's get some clarifiers and see. I'm just getting a lot of, a lot of detachment on your side. Um, a lot of detachment and a lot of indecisiveness. So let's see. Alright, Spirit, why do we have this here? Clarify this energy for the viewer. Yep, what did I just say? Indecisiveness, two of wands. Okay, crossroads. You guys really don't know what you want with this person. You really don't. I mean, you could see a potential with them. Like the two of wands, this is about planning for the future. Um, but you are really indecisive. There's a very, very indecisive energy. Even again, like the King of Swords reverse, not only is the King of Swords reverse detached, but the King of Swords reverse is also indecisive. Okay? Um, so you guys really aren't sure what you want. Your person, let's clarify, we have the Hierophant and the Four of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Okay, let's see what this is about. Person's energy. The Eight of Cups is a card of moving on. Yeah, your person might also want to move on from this now. Okay, Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. Okay, um, what's interesting is we have two kind of conflicting energies here. Okay, you and your person could be mirroring each other a little bit because your indecisiveness, indecisiveness could be mirrored by their indecisiveness because we have the Four of Swords and the Hierophant. So this is a card of separation. This is a card of commitment. So they're a bit conflicted in terms of what they want with you. But with the Eight of Cups here and the Ten of Wands, I feel like your person right now, their current energy, is they're walking away from this because it's been too much of a burden. Okay, so let's see what the current challenge is. 
So the past it looks like someone needed to make an offer but was hiding the current challenge between you guys. There's some conflict here. Okay, there's been some conflict. Let's see. Someone could also feel like there's competition as well. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, so the challenge is really, again, the same thing, guys. It's like the challenge is someone has to make an offer. In the past, Page of Pentacles, in the, in the present, Ace of Pentacles, like the challenge is that someone's got to come through with an offer, but there could be, what could be blocking this is there's been conflict from the past, okay? There could have been some anger or conflict, or there's a feeling of competition, so there could be multiple people involved here. Okay, so let's clarify this. Uh, another message, guys, your person might be walking away from this because they feel like they've created too much of a burden for you. Okay, sorry, just a side message here. Your person might be aware that, okay, if you have a past or a history with this person, because I'm seeing a woman here, I'm seeing a man here, and that's how I read feminine and masculine energy, okay? Whether this is a soulmate, twin flame, karmic, doesn't matter, there's gonna be a feminine and a masculine energy. And I'm seeing here that your person might have walked, is might be walking away because they don't wanna be a burden to you. Does that make sense? Okay, let's clarify the current challenge. Yeah, three of swords, wow. I really feel like there was so much conflict, guys. And the challenge is like, how do we heal this situation? Um, five of swords reverse, three of swords reverse. This is about making amends. So the challenge is how do you guys make amends for whatever this conflict was? And with the three of swords reverse, this is about healing. The challenge is like, how do we heal from whatever happened? How do we heal from this pain? How do we heal from this betrayal? Um, whether you betrayed them, they betrayed you, both of you guys betrayed each other. To me, this feels like both of you guys. It does. With the Five of Wands here and the Five of Swords, I feel like this is on both ends because you were detached. Um, they were withholding here. Um, I just get, there's a lot of conflict. So the challenge is like, how do we heal this situation? You guys are not sure. Okay. All right, let me just grab a new deck and we're gonna see here what you're currently wanting. I mean, we do have the Two of Swords. This is your current energy. This is their current energy. So you're kind of at this standstill. Um, they're probably walking away here. So let's see what you're wanting. All right, Spirit. So what is my viewer wanting with their person? Okay, the star, oh, sorry, the star and the ace of wands reversed, okay? So the star is about awakening, also about healing. So I feel like what you're wanting is clarity. You're maybe wanting to just heal the situation. Ace of wands, it's like there's a potential for a new beginning here. But again, you're not really sure. Like the Ace of Wands reverse, this is yes, there's a potential. Like I can see that there's a potential for something here, but do I want to spark this? I don't know. That's what I'm feeling here. You do want to heal this though. I feel like, but this to me feels more like you want to heal yourself, star. Like even this woman's by herself. I feel like you might be wanting to just heal yourself. What does your person want with you? What does your person want with you? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Swords, and the Tower reversed. Okay. Um, your person's scared of you. Okay, I feel like your person does not want to, um, like they're really scared of you. What happened? Oh my gosh, what happened here? Your person's really scared of you and that's what I'm getting about this Eight of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Like they're walking away because they feel like they're burdening you. Like they feel like 
they're going to create more burdens for you. So they feel like they almost have to walk away. This person, eight of pentacles reverse. Like right now, they don't want to put any effort into this. Um, they're trying to avoid tower reverse. They're trying to avoid a tower moment with you. They're scared that you'll just cut their head off. I feel like you hurt this person in the past. You might have said something or done something, but I feel like you hurt this person. They might have hurt you too, because I feel like you guys are, you detached, you detached way long before they detached. Um, it's like you started off detached, they ended up detached. So, and the challenge is like, can you guys heal whatever conflict this was? Okay, so that's the question. Can you guys heal this? I don't know. I don't even know if you want to. They're afraid of you. Okay, so let's see. All right. What's the future? What's the future of this connection? Uh, let's just pull for the next few weeks, okay? What do we see happening with these two? I think everyone's curious to find out. <laughs> okay. It looks like there could be a reunion. Oh gosh, how's that going to go? Yeah, I see a reunion of love. We have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the King of Cups. Okay, the Knights in this deck are the Kings, just so you guys know. I'm not reading wrong. Um, the Knights are the Kings. So we have the Six of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the King of Cups. We have a lot of water energy. Okay, you or your person could be Cancer, Pisces, Pisces or Scor Scorp oh my gosh, Scorpio. Okay, I never call out signs. I don't know why I just did that, but it could be relevant. Um... Yeah, I'm definitely seeing here, like, the Six of Cups is a card of someone from your past returning. So I'm seeing a reunion here. The Nine of Cups is about getting your wish fulfillment. The King of Cups is, it could be your person. Your person could be coming in with some emotion here, King of Cups, okay? Um, especially if you are dealing with a water sign. I gotta put that out there. I never say that, so it must be important. Um, if you're dealing with a water sign, male or masculine energy, he could be coming in with, with some emotion. Um, doesn't have to be though, okay? It just could be a special message. If you're not dealing with the water sign, it doesn't matter, but it could be the case, okay? Um, all right, here, let's see. I'm gonna finish off with my Twin Flame Messages deck. So like I said, guys, if you're interested in purchase, purchasing these, the information's gonna be down below. So let's see. What are their messages? Let's just pull a few. So what are your person's messages for you? I'm kind of shocked about that outcome, but you know, life is funny like that. So let's see. They really are scared of you. That's probably what I'll title this. Like your person's freaking scared of you. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, look, exactly what I just said, guys. Look, this is your message from your person. And I was just saying, King of Cups, I'm coming back soon. Whoever you're dealing with, I don't know if you want them back because I, I feel like there's a potential. You could potentially want this person back. With the star card here, I just feel like you want to heal. Like you just want to heal yourself. But I'm coming back soon is what your person wants you to know. And that's definitely what I was pulling here. They're just scared. So that's what they're scared of. They're scared of this tower falling. They're scared of hurting you is what I'm getting. Um, they're also scared of you hurting them. Okay, they just feel like they want to come back, but is it going to be too much of a burden? So let's see what else they have. Yeah, I have a plan, but you have to trust me. So they are planning on coming back um, quite soon, actually, which is probably why we had this in the near future. I was definitely pulling that the masculine energy is the one um, moving forward here. So this person, I feel like this is the masculine, but the roles can be reversed, okay? Yeah, so look at this. I'm still healing wounds from a past relationship. That's what I was getting here at the Six of Cups reversed, okay? 100%, your person, it's like, that's what they were breaking free from in the past. That's what they were breaking free from, and maybe they rubbed you the wrong way. Maybe this person, like, they weren't healed, so they were kind of giving you mixed signals or... Because you detach from them. They were still breaking out of some sort of energy. You caught wind of that. You detached. Maybe it sparked or triggered your insecurities, okay? Let's see. 
yeah your person's very afraid of rejection i'm so afraid of rejection and i feel like this could have to do with a past relationship um but that's what i'm saying here <laughs> look at this yeah i'm so afraid of rejection exactly queen of swords tower eight of pentacles reverse right they're afraid of getting rejected by you but i feel like they're going to move past their fears anyways because they just feel this they just feel this connection with you okay so they're afraid of you but they're coming back all right um Guys, that's what I have for you. If you guys wanted to book something personal, again, all of my information is down below. If you guys wanted to get your own very uh, or your very own Twin Flame Oracle deck, information is down below as well. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, definitely give it a like. Comment down below if this story resonated with you. Um, and I am sending you guys absolute love and light, and I wish you guys all of the best on your journey. Take care.